corn We're, dog. This is ours, isn't it? Damn it. Don't like the taste of that All right. one. The county made us get a new one. It's our water, we know. Welcome to the Crowded Barrel Whiskey Company. This is the world's first crowdsourced whiskey distillery, mm -hmm. and it actually is a catalyst for a lot of the episodes we do here. And yes. one of the things we've been wanting to do for a long, long time is share our really big collection of whiskey for people in blind pours so they can experience things that are kind of amazing. And we're gonna do that with customers and guests that come in. You look pretty today. Well, see, here's the thing. We've been talking about this for a while. How do I look pretty? I'm distracted now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Daniel, we're gonna do, this. we'll start with the single malt. Yeah, well, and also we're gonna start with just, you know, people and property because... We wanna float this out to just random, you can't reserve it, you can't request it, but just okay. random people that come visit the distillery in the tasting room. Right. Maybe somebody gets chosen and we do uh, uh, like a, a little secret pour. Right. Like blind pours of a half a dozen things. So what's the range that we're starting with today? We're gonna start with just single malts, and we're gonna start with specifically Scottish and Irish. All right, let's get our first guest in here and uh, let's see which one they prefer between like 40 to $1,000. Tell me how I'm pretty again. <laughs> I'm gonna need some more whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. Hello. Ah! <laughs> Welcome to my fine Whiskey establishments. Thank you. Finally. How you do? I am excellent. All right, come on up to the square here. <laughs> so what we have here are six anonymous pours here. I can't tell you, these are all going to be single malt, not necessarily all from the same country, but the category is gonna be single malt whiskey. So first things first, in terms of your whiskey experience, would you say that you have hardly any experience or, you know, you've tried a few things or I have a ton of whiskey experience, I absolutely know my way around a whiskey. No, I absolutely don't know what I'm doing, but I've had a few experiences with whiskey. I would say I've only had the basics before you guys started doing all this. Yeah. And then since y'all have been around, I've tried things. Yeah. But I sometimes don't even know what they are. I'd probably still say next to none. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a hint of more than that. So one year ago, I was the noob, yeah. uh, and I've been editing the vault since then, so I've picked up on various vernaculars and things. Yeah. And I've tasted some things, but I wouldn't qualify myself as a in like hardcore nerd about it. Been around the block a few times. Yeah, you got a few thousand <laughs> under your belt there. Intermediate. Intermediate. Yeah. Okay. And you have a favorite way of drinking whiskey? You're usually liking it neat, you like it on the rocks, you're usually mixing it with something? Primarily neat. Um, Definitely with sugar. Neat. Okay. Mostly mixed. Uh, usually neat. Maybe a little bit of ice sometimes, but. Always a cocktail, but based from this channel, I have like the neat pours a little bit more. Okay. Yeah. All right. So on the nose with number one. Okay. What are we finding? And I know the glasses are filthy. The county made us get a new water system. Calm down. You want me to rant more? No, no, no that's good. <laughs> We're fixing, we're getting new water. The county made us get a new one. It's our water, we know. It looks horrible. It was, it was pristine. <laughs> you know what's as smooth as that sweet ass baseball slide? This announcement that we're gonna be doing, the Stereo.com live show. A live show with your questions on Stereo.com slash Whiskey Tribe Rex. Here's the show, the first show that we did is basically the best whiskeys you never heard of mm -hmm. with the Magnificent Bastards having that conversation. Yeah. Uh, let's do another question here. All right, you bastards. Just so happens the whiskey that I would say fits this list perfectly is Woodenville. Have a good one, guys. Thank you, Rob Shields. Yeah, yeah Woodenville. Yeah, thanks, man. And it's funny. I like getting the questions from, uh, from the community. I like that I can hear their voices. That makes a... That's actually kind of a cool difference. The sultry, dulcet tones of Magnificent Bastards. That'll get you there. <laughs> <laughs> What's the next show? Do you the know? next show is the worst whiskey. <laughs> it's pretty good. <laughs> I'm pretty sure people have heard. Well, oh, no, that one, though. Yeah, the oh, one. That one. Okay. Yeah. Stereo.com slash Whiskey Tribe Rex. Come hang out with us Wednesday at noon. Can you do noon? Sure. Noon. Whiskey number one, the Glenfiddich 15-year-old Solera cask. This one is around seventy-five dollars a bottle in our area. Okay. <laughs> I get like the like the chocolate covered cherries a little bit, I mean, like apple-y. I almost feel like a green apple. It's sweeter than it is smoky. Yeah, I mean it's kind of sweet. It's real, just like 
smooth. A little bit of lemon, biscuit, shortbread. Not a whole lot of alcohol burn. Yeah, like sweet apple, cinnamony. So go ahead and taste it. What do you, what do you taste on that one? The first thing that jumped in my head was like some kind of fertilizer. It's really thin. Mm -hmm. Like it just kind of disappears. Well, it doesn't really resonate with me in any way at all. It's just like hitting me wrong. A little bit of that green apple, but it's almost like a apple soda. Mm, yeah, that reminds me kind of like a like of Jameson a little bit. Okay. Breathy. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. I feel like a warm breath in my mouth. Be putting these in order from your most favorite number one, mm -hmm. and then as you go through, the least favorite will end up at number six. Okay, so most favorite is number one. Yes. Okay. Let's move on to the second pour. Okay. Whiskey number two is special because this is an unreleased whiskey right. that we made. Right. Yeah. This is a bad idea all around because nobody can get their hands on this no. whiskey. There's only 20 gallons of this in the whole world. And the only people that can taste it are going to be in Patreon. It was designed for whiskey nerds and we have a lot of whiskey novices yeah. and they hate this. Yeah. So. <laughs> so this is like between eight and nine months old. This yeah. is half peated. Right. Price so, range on that is to, to, see. to infinity <laughs> and beyond. We have no idea, yeah. yeah. Ooh, smoke? Uh, it smells more maple-y. Mm -hmm. And more sweeter than number one, I yeah. would say. Yeah. Ooh, this one's more like maple-y, chocolatey, chocolate baked bread. Is that? Sure. Do people make that? <laughs> <laughs> the very abstract baking spices. Okay. <laughs> Damn it. This is ours, isn't it? Damn it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> it smells delightful. Yes, of course. Maybe a little savory something, burned molasses or something like that. Mm-hmm. Mm. <laughs> yeah. So to me, this is what whiskey typically tastes like. Yeah. The good stuff. Ooh, that's good. Ooh. Ooh. I feel like some sort of wood. So definitely more woody. Yeah, like a bark. Ooh. Toasted marshmallow yes. sweetness, like a dark toasted sweetness, and the smoke, of course. The nice peated smoke. Uh, bourbony, spicy something. So. I also taste chocolatey. Nice, nice. nice. That's so good. Do you like that one uh, more or more less than the first, first one? All right, by so let's go ahead, and yeah, bump yeah. Up, go ahead and bump up that one Ooh, to the number yeah. one spot. Yeah. That's sitting nicely. Do you like it more or less than number one? I'm gonna say less. I, I would probably switch them. Sure. I'm gonna switch these. <laughs> All right. And I'm gonna try my best not to be totally biased, but I just, we made yeah. whiskey that I really like. Yeah. Um, uh, fair <laughs> that enough. That kind of is the whole point. <laughs> fair enough. Uh, <laughs> okay, hold up. What? 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 The sun on you? On me? <laughs> Have you ever had a tan? I'm just asking, like in general. I've been are you, a child. Are you one of those guys that like just I've turns had red? summers as a child. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Like radiating right now. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you can, we can use you as like a bounce light. <laughs> a bounce card? Yeah. Oh my god, I am bouncing. I'm bouncing light. I'm a bounce card. I'm a human bounce card. I'm in hell. <laughs> Here I am. The number three. Number three. Secret four. Is a little whiskey I like to call Bushmills 16. Okay. A single malt from Bushmills. Okay. Right? Matured in all three port, sherry, and bourbon casks. How much? And this is gonna ring around $125. Really? Ooh. This is more similar to the first one. It's weird because like, I think the first two were making me nose blunt because this doesn't smell like much. Okay, so it's much more subdued. It's a little fruitier, mm -hmm. maybe like cherries. Like a, like a wet lawn with, with dirt on it. Grass. Oh, did you do <laughs> You've been working in the lawn, Joe? I think this one's more interesting than what I put to number two. Mm -hmm. um, it, the green apple is heavier Maybe a little bit of floral note to it. Very little bit of apple, maybe some pear. This doesn't have any of that caramel, like sweetness smell yeah. that I was talking about. Ooh, that's good. Mm. I just ate the wet lawn. Taste, <laughs> if you can taste it. Oh, I don't like the taste of that all one. Right. Not a fan all. of that one. Okay. So that's probably the most expensive one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this one's definitely more dry. Than the first two. Yeah. I'm not tasting the cherries as much as I was smelling them. Mm -hmm. What is with this? Did sure. you guys wash these beforehand? Yes. Those are all clean glasses. Because uh, it's kind of soapy. 
Uh, well, oh, that could be a note though. That was actually really bad. The number three? Yeah. You did not like? No, like, okay. it's gonna get bumped. Okay, okay. I'm telling you right I'm now. I'm gonna bump it up. I'm gonna bump it up. Do you want to keep it at number three or do you want to move it up? I think I'll keep it at three, actually. I'll keep it where it is. Okay. It's earthy. It's earthy. <laughs> I think okay. I'm going to keep it three. Number two is now number one. Number one is number two. Yeah. Number three, I'm just keeping that off there because I'm not a fan. No, I, I think I do like that one more. There you go. Yep. Oh. Is that Dan all dressed up back there? Oh, yeah. What's yeah. he dressed He's up? He's fancy Dan. God dang, dude. <laughs> I'm looking bad. You know, I'm wearing like Dickie's clothes. Don't, and my... don't try and go toe-to-toe -to -toe with fancy Dan on work. God. Fourth one is yeah? a $1,000 bottle of 25-year-old Irish whiskey. Yes. Bottled by the Teeling Whiskey Company. Yes. The Centenary Collection 1915. Uh -huh. Why is this so incredibly expensive? Is it the well, ra rarity? What are we talking about? It's because of the rarity. This yeah. is a single cask. Uh, okay. Only 250 bottles. That'll be interesting to try. Yeah. Hmm. This one's a little sweeter. I want to call it like a scotch with with wang to it. Oh, it's got a wang. It's not Isla, but it's got a wang. Cut that wang. Oh, yeah, you know. <laughs> we all know you adore the wang. You said that you're into the wang. <laughs> I want to give it to you. We're, listen, <laughs> it's 2021. If you're not into the wang. What's the same is the green apple, the honey, that kind of light sweetness I still get. I'm thinking you're sticking to one particular region quite we a bit. We will find out. <laughs> Sweet, but in a way like a flower is, not as much as a fruit. Okay. Kind of reminds me of a chalkboard. This is weird, but like a classroom. Humid and kind of just like dank, like. Yeah. Maybe even charcoal. Oh, it's spicy, like peppery. Is it bad that I still like ours best? <laughs> Ooh, I like this one. Yeah? This one's good. You wanna, yeah, where are you taking that one? Yeah, this is my number one. Okay, all right, you wanna shift everything down one? Yes. Okay, your new number one. I'm gonna do this. Okay. Oh yeah, it could go... Right there. Yeah, it'll go number two. I'll just say, my running theory right now is the weirder it is, the more pricey it probably is. Okay. So if I'm tasting something that's like, yeah, then somewhere somebody with the stash is gonna be like, no, you don't understand, it's good. <laughs> the fifth secret pour. The fifth secret pour Jeez. is also a tealing, only it's tealing that they made and it's a single malt. Oh, right? I, I see what you did. You can get this one for about 50 to 60 bucks. I see what you did there. Is this one fancier? That's why there's less in We'll it. let you know at the end. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. It's almost like a lemony, zesty type something. This one is much more floral compared to the others. Mm -hmm. Not like a perfumey floral. Yeah, more natural. Yeah. It's very, it's a lot more like muted, I guess. I can tell you uh, the most straight up, this is a scotch, this is a friendly, you can sip this scotch. Okay. This is this. Oh, okay. And I like that. Yeah, yeah. Kinda, it smells like corn, kinda. Okay. Like the uh, actual cornfield. Hmm. That one there at the end, that's a little stronger. That one's got more of like a, like a staticness to it. A little bit of apple on the, on the palate. Oh, that palate's kind of a bummer. Yeah. Yeah. Not for you? Yeah. All right. I don't like that palate. <laughs> God, that's gotta be, without a doubt. The mo man, the mo when I was younger, I was maybe 24. Yeah. And one of my buddies was celebrating graduating college, and he was like, I was like, you know, I'll buy you anything you want on that. And he picked a thing, it was like $130 for yeah. each glass. Yeah. It tasted like shit. <laughs> It tasted exactly like that. Tasted exactly like that. You're fine can keeping we, it there. We well, you haven't even tried six, you want to put it there. I'm gonna switch these two. Okay, all right. Oh, no, because right. that's the only one that made me feel that way. I'm gonna keep it there. Okay. Yeah. All right, so the final, the final secret pour. It's about a $40 bottle of single malt, 10 year old yep. Glen Farkless, yeah. right? Which is a Highland malt. Yeah. I'm talking scotch and here. And you can get this. It's just so easily accessible. You can get it on United Airlines mm -hmm. for their scotch option. Ooh, that smells really good. So the first thing you gotta know is my nose is bad. It's huge. Tiny legs, huge nose. Not really smellable. It's kind of a genetic 
I'm, I'm from West Virginia. No, my uh, tree is a stick. <laughs> <laughs> They'll talk shit about the totem pole. Are these all the same whiskey? <laughs> this one's much closer to number one. Okay. I it's... don't know why I keep saying caramel, mm -hmm. but it's just kind of like a smooth, buttery caramel. Like, yeah. Almost like those Werther's original kind okay. of. I'm getting sweet apple. I'm still getting that apple for some reason. Mm -hmm. Right now, my mouth is not on fire, but it's burning. That one seemed the flattest to me, palate-wise. Ooh, that's an easy one. Mm -hmm. Like very, very smooth. Not a lot of bite? Mm-mm, not at all. That's delicious. That's a space side Scotland that I that I don't like. Okay. Yeah. Some space sides have this like coating and it's a texture thing that I don't enjoy. I don't love it. Okay. <laughs> at all. I think that's like my least favorite. Is that you want to keep it at six? Yeah. I'm gonna what keep does it that taste there. like to you? Crown Royal. I kind of like it though. It's just like a Sunday morning, you know? <laughs> we'll put this little Sunday morning it's here. It's a little, hey, how you doing? Yeah. Okay. We're just going to move these. Yeah. Are you satisfied with that being number five? Or do you think it deserves to go higher? I'm satisfied. Satisfied. I'm satisfied. Okay. Can I confirm? Yes, confirm. Okay. <laughs> then I'm done. That's the last one, right? Good job. You were ready okay. for the reveal? Yes. So let's reveal your least favorite first. You were not a fan. Teeling single malt. What? Teeling single malt. You were not feeling it. Sorry, Teeling. <laughs> <laughs> Glen Farkless Tin. Glen Farkless Tin. Okay. Hmm. So, not your favorite. <laughs> it's also probably one of the cheapest whiskeys on the land. Okay. You are not a fan of Bushmills. Bushmills single malt, 16 year old. That's weird because now, very basic Bushmills, I like. You can learn how one? to drive. This one is going to run you uh, about $125. Wow. And keep in mind, everybody watching too, prices are always super regional. So, whatever the prices are for us, it's very good odds that you're gonna have very different prices in your own local markets. The number five position, Glen Farkless 10. Oh, that doesn't surprise me at all. Bush Mills, this is the 16 year old. Bush Mills 16. Okay. Yeah, I've not had a lot of Bush Mills, so. Uh, your fifth favorite is actually a $1,000 bottle. You're staying on theme here. This is Ross Dress for Less, okay? I'm not gonna go out. <laughs> you were not a big fan of the Teeling single malt. Teeling. Irish whiskey, the Teeling single malt, this is gonna be about $55. Number four for you, Glen Fittick 15. Glen Fittick 15 year old. Oh, interesting. Glen Fittick 15, that this was, was the this Solera one? Reserve, yep. It's a Solera cask, are you familiar with the Solera cask? Is that port? You, you can, it's just, it's just. I know Solera and I know the, the other one, the Spanish dude. Oloroso. 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 Raul. 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 That was Bushmill 16. This is $125. Hmm, well. So that's right. creeping up there. Okay. Your taste is getting more expensive as you go. So your fourth favorite was a thousand dollar bottle. Thousand dollar bottle of For real? Yeah. Centenary <laughs> collection 1950. Really? Oh my god. Irish whiskey. <laughs> and the rule number one of the whiskey tribe is best whiskey is your whiskey like, where are you going? I'm gonna take it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, this was fun. <laughs> the one you did in spot number four? Yep. This was Crowded Barrel Single Malted Magnificence. <laughs> well, I mean, it, it beat out a 16-year-old Bushmills. Are you sure you didn't pour the wrong thing? <laughs> now that you know that your job depends on it. Oh! <laughs> this smells <laughs> a lot more familiar now. <laughs> now, in your third spot, Glenn Farkless 10-year-old. You're a cheap date. Again, it is... $40. Wow. Number three, Glen Fittick, 15. Place number three, this was a thousand dollar bottle of Centenary. All right then. <laughs> it's 25 years old. Yes, yes it is. All right. Maybe it should go down to number six. Oh, he's trading places now. <laughs> number three, Crowded Barrel Whiskey Company, Single Malt of Magnificence. <laughs> no wonder. I made a pretty decent showing. <laughs> you hear that, John? It's not even in here. Well, John, can you hear that? John used to be an employee of ours until he... <laughs> oh, you agree? I agree. Done. Done. And to your second favorite, Bushmill 16. How much was this one? It's $125. $125, all right. Your second favorite 
Glenn Farkless, interesting, 10-year-old. Mm. That was actually our cheapest whiskey in the lineup. Gosh, 40%. And it's $40. That's how you know <laughs> it's good. <laughs> Single malt scotch, this is Glenfiddich 15. You liked Glenfiddich 15. And that whiskey is typically gonna run you about $75. Wow. Yeah. Second favorite of the whole lineup, Teeling single malt Irish whiskey. You and Emma were on very different wavelengths with the Teeling. So in the number one spot, you liked, um, that's our whiskey? Oh, nice. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> uh, all right. Way to go. The Single Malt of Magnificence by Crowded Barrel Whiskey Company. Of course it was my favorite. <laughs> Obviously, the one that you liked was yeah. our single mom. Yeah. yeah. Dude, that's awesome. Yeah, oh, that's well, cool, that's man. great. That's actually really cool. Thankfully. <laughs> <laughs> that would be really embarrassing if I did it. That would be hilarious if you're like, oh my god, this is last. This is oh horrible. my gosh, that'd be so awful. <laughs> you know you know who didn't put it as the favorite? Indigo. Freaking John. Oh. Freaking John who works here? He used to work here. Used to work. <laughs> Glenfiddich 15. Okay. Yeah, this is the Solera cask. That's interesting because like one of my first memories of Glenfiddich is I didn't like it mm -hmm. like like years ago. That was a thousand dollar bottle. Oh, wow. <laughs> Heck yeah. Centenary collection. <laughs> no wonder. 1915. Yeah. Do you have expensive taste? Yeah. I'll let Joe know <laughs> how <do>. screwed he is. <laughs> Yeah, that was good stuff. Your number one favorite. Interesting, Interesting, because this was a lot of other people's not favorite. Really? You really like the Teeling Irish Whiskey Single Malt. Yeah, that what? makes sense. It's got a cool bird on it. <laughs> Thank you, Dad. Bye. Yeah, bye. 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 <laughs> so go home and think about what you did. Yeah. Uh, do I need to write a report or anything? Or Yeah, we'll sit down and we'll have, we'll have a performance review. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I feel like we're missing a good opportunity for shenanigans. This is what's known as a clutch move. <laughs> this is why Richard's the best. How far do you think you can get? Oh, that's pretty far. <laughs> that's pretty good, actually. Yeah. What do we win? Let's just put it this way. The person who doesn't go the farthest is fired. <laughs> Any method possible. Okay. Right? Any method. Oh, you can't be sitting. You gotta be standing. Ah! <laughs> Wait, do that again. That was amazing. You went on a, you were so far. <laughs> That's pretty good. All right, All right, we're gonna mark it. Should I get a little broom and yeah. <laughs> get a little broom and shine it before <laughs> right in front of us. <laughs> I think you beat me. <laughs> I'm so not made to be a cameraman. Yeah, it's already working. So come hang out at Crowd of Barrel <laughs> whenever we're not frozen solid and the glasses aren't covered in water spots. <laughs>